Hello everyone and welcome to another royal reading here at Mad World Tarot. I took a day off uh, to catch up with friends, very good friends, very old friends out from Ireland. Lovely to see them and uh, lots to gossip about including the Parkles and um, things to say about them and uh, they have uh, carried on with their journey and I am back at the tarot table on Mandela Day. It's Mandela Day in South Africa. I'll be talking about that in the next reading. But in this reading now, quickly, um, I'm going to catch up on a little bit of gossip. And the gossip has come from De Moi. And the gossip is about um, Harry's other father, his uh, second dad, David Foster. And Catherine McPhee, uh, who was at school with Megan and was allegedly a friend of Megan's, a bit younger than Megan, but they seem to have appeared in, in plays together or musicals or something like that, as far as I can vaguely recall. And um, David Foster and Catherine McPhee were uh, such good friends of the Parkles when the Parkles at first uh, exited and found their freedom to the extent that David Foster apparently organised uh, accommodation for them in that vast mansion in Canada and then um, helped them find their feet in California. Things have gone a bit quiet subsequently. I've done the occasional reading on that relationship, but now according to Demois and the rumour uh, on Demois, there is trouble in paradise with David Foster and Catherine McPhee because allegedly he is playing away. He has been seeing someone else on the side since last year and uh, there is speculation. Both of them have form uh, for infidelity. Um, uh, there is some speculation, it is idle speculation, it is wild rumour, there is some speculation, some wondering whether that woman on the side could possibly be Madame the Wife in Montecito. And so that's what we're going to be looking at in this short reading with the After Tarot. It's my makeup, my breakup makeup relationship tarot. So I'm going to have a look at this, it is a rumour and as I shuffle the cards it reminds you that this is tarot for fun and entertainment it's all opinion it's all speculation we read energy here archetypal energy because we're involved with archetypal stories archetypal people archetypal family the royal family and there is of course a disclaimer in the box below i'm going to look at them i'm going to do a compare and contrast reading david foster on the left megan Markle on the right we're going to look at them their marriages how their marriages are doing rumors about both marriages um, we're going to look at how they feel about each other. Do they like each other? Do they loathe each other? Do they fancy each other according to the tarot? Uh, are they playing away? Either of them, both of them, what's going on? And then the outcome would be them as a potential couple. Is there any possibility that we might suddenly hear in the coming days, weeks, months that, oh, guess what? Uh, marriage number, I don't know what, I have no idea. He's been through so many marriages. And uh, Megan also not, not uh, um, shy about divorcing and moving on when it suits her. He's worth a cool $150 million. That might be tempting just in its, uh, in its own right because we gather that things are a little bit tense. Times are tense in uh, the Parkour world financially he's on this side i'll explain the cards as we go megan on the right hand side of your screen see what's what according to this rumor just a rumor underlying energy Ooh, situation here we've got the six of wands it's a triumphal energy it's very egotistical the six of wands it can be narcissistic um a triumph look at me um, so we're not getting negative energy as our underlying energy here. We're getting quite, uh, in the after tarot, slightly different to the regular Rider weight, uh, a little bit moved forward in time. We have a man, a very famous man with an adoring woman there, admiring him as he processes past. And we do know that she's quite good at doing things like that, at praising men, at telling them how marvelous they are and uh, feminist that she is. 
and uh, so there it is that's an interesting energy just all of itself as our underlying energy so let's look at the actual situation what do we have what are we dealing with here we're dealing with a ten of wands in reverse that's a giving up energy and letting go um Maybe for both couples, um, there's a feeling that they can't anymore. The burden is too heavy and they want to put it down. Um, certainly getting that vibe from Megan's side of things. I have never read on the state of the, um, the, the marriage between David Foster and Catherine McPhee. I have read on him and his relationship with Harry and things like that. Allegedly, uh, people are saying that there is some hostility towards Megan from his daughters. Um, so it might be tricky for her. Um, she did try her luck allegedly with what's his name, Getty, and family intervened with that story. Um, a while back there was that rumour and it was quickly shut down. So perhaps it's one of these things. But we don't know yet. We, uh, we've got 10 of ones in reverse as our central issue, what we're actually dealing with. And that's people who are giving up. They are finding their current situations very difficult to deal with, exhausting, lonely, um, a negative press and things like that that make them just want to quit and um, start again somewhere else. So let's look at their marriages. His marriage first. What's the state of his marriage according to the cards? Energy that we're reading here. Well, he's ready for a fresh start with the fool. <laughs> just what I said with the Ten of Wands in reverse. Uh, he uh, seems like he's over it. He's literally stepped off the edge of a cliff there. The fool. And uh, he's ready for a new dalliance. He's ready for a new adventure. He's 73 years old. It's not going to stop him. Uh, and uh, there he is. He's already in the after tarot. Stepped off the edge of that cliff. L made that leap into something new. So that's interesting. So there might be some truth to this rumor on Dermois. How about Megan? What's the state of her marriage? I've read on it uh, copiously. Uh, magician. We get the magician. That is a manifesting card. She's trying to manifest something better. Um, it's not a fix the marriage card, the magician, not at all. Um, that would be a work energy, uh, collaborating, putting effort in kind of an energy. The magician is the power of magical thinking. We know that she's quite keen on that, on manifesting, on vision boards and the secret and all of that. Um, so she's busy. It's major arcana for both of them. She's busy um, trying to manifest something better according to the cards, according to the energy that I'm reading, my opinion. Um, how do they feel about each other now, which I think is very uh, important, obviously, in this reading. How does uh, David Foster feel about Meghan Markle? His attitude to her. Seven of Cups. Um, it's a bit of a temptation energy, a bit deluded there. I think he can't quite read her. She's a bit mysterious. The Seven of Cups is... There's a holy grail in there somewhere normally in the tarot, but there's also some BB prizes um, that you might not want. You can see he's he's made off with the crown jewels there, but he's also got a serpent around his, his uh, waist there because there are both jewels and serpents in the Seven of Cups. There is also this ghostly figure there. A uh, mystery woman. I'm getting he is, he is uh, maybe intrigued by her. Uh, with the Seven of Cups, because the Seven of Cups is not reading a situation clearly, being a bit deluded, being tempted, thinking that there are possibilities there. So he certainly sees her as a potential. Um, and the energy of the underlying card here is of that, ooh, uh, my hero, um, that energy that she's uh, possibly giving off, uh, potentially giving off uh, to him, and he is... Uh, possibly tempted by it how does she view him her intentions towards him her feelings about him oh my oh my there it is there it is ace of cups and uh, we had rumors about this years ago when they first exited and did that flight to freedom and um, thanks to Tyler Perry and uh, there were rumors back then that she was making eyes at him and Catherine McPhee was um, somewhat annoyed about this and um, shut things down. That was then. This is now. Uh, this is now we've got Ace of Cups. The Ace of Cups is literally a declaration of love, uh, an offer. Um, very, very, 
coquettish. I want to say that ace of cups and look we've even got a mm on that cup an upside down mm, but we have it uh, so there is there is an offer it's coming from here going there according to what I'm interpreting here it's going that direction through that uh, hero you're my hero to mm, tempted um, are they playing away not necessarily with each other just want to know he's definitely looking for new adventures she's trying to manifest something are they playing away uh speculative card question got the queen of cups i don't know what catherine mcphee is but she might be a water sign woman um there is an unhappy potentially an unhappy spouse there with the queen of cups a woman who is upset a very upset um possibly has uh, more than being upset has withdrawn her own cup of love from the marriage and gone cold uh, she could be upset and lots of tears lots of brooding depressed uh, things were so much better when back way back when and now things are terrible um, so it's not his energy that's um, coming through as much as possibly his wife's his partner's energy of just uh, a woman who's feeling aggrieved who's feeling um rejected feeling emotional but negative emotion um how about megan is megan potentially playing away according to the cards the energy of the cards that we read here Ooh, we've got the high priestess in reverse and the high priestess in reverse is things that were secret that might be revealed Things that people have been very quiet about, have hidden, um, that might be starting to leak out. There was a rumor, there was a blind item a few days ago that Megan was having dinner with some, uh, some man who was not her husband. It said no more than that. And, uh, you know, she could be having dinner with a lawyer, an agent, anybody, an old friend, any of that stuff is possible. It was said it, it's, it's had an insinuation, but it didn't go to there and say actually with a man. Uh, there have been rumors before. She's been seen out and about, very cozy, long lunches with people. Uh, but this is an interesting card because, it's, as I say, it's about secrets and about secrets coming out. Uh, that she would probably like to keep hush hush at this point uh, it's a very powerful feminine energy we've got the magician and the high priestess we've got manifesting and we've got um almost um and i don't mean this literally for the sake of uh, disclaimer purposes um a spell work and with both of them in the in the sense of a, like a love spell or a you know um Again, I don't mean uh, something sinister, but something like trying to manifest something at full moon or with crystals or feathers or doing, you know, chanting something or something like that to try and manifest a new paramour. Um, it's in here, it's in the side of things and she's definitely sending vibes that way and he's definitely feeling them. And there's definitely a woman over there who is upset at this point. So some substance to this rumor according to the energy of the cards that I'm interpreting here. Uh, what is the outcome for them as a couple? Is there anything going to come of this or is it just going to stay one of those rumors? This story is going to be buried. Eight of Wands in reverse is blocked and stopped. And I did say that um, apparently, according to those who know much more about this than I do, the daughters are very opposed. They're in that friend group. Um, I think it's Jen Mayer and all of those people who do not seemingly uh, like Meghan Markle very much. So the daughters might have something to do with um, uh, closing this down and saying, oh no, no you don't. But there is a, there is a blockage coming up. Um, it could also be that somehow the rumours and the story, it's just an idle rumour, it hasn't gained any traction. I'm just reading on it because that's what I do here. I look at energy around these stories, speculative energy, and uh, it looks as if it might just be shut down. It might be shut down on social media um, to make people not talk about it, try anyway, and make people not speculate about it. Um, so it doesn't look like this is going to go anywhere, but it does look as if 
there is something here more than just nothing it's more than just uh wild gossip there is potential there is potential in these cards um so that is the reading and thanks for watching and i'll see you on the next one